students, for your science read aloud for today, we are going to discuss more about apples. Instead, this is a different apples book by Ken Robbins. And she and it's what what's cool, she um they also do the illustrations of the book too, so that's pretty neat. So I can't wait to see what this apple book is about. Okay, apples. An apple is a wonderful thing, a perfect handful of portable food wrapped in a package of its very own skin. Apples, of course, are a, bit, are a kind of fruit. They are round, shiny, delicious, and sweet, crisp to the bite, and they grow on trees. People have been growing them for thousands of years. That's a long time. Apples can be red or yellow, or they can be green. Sometimes they can be all three. Yeah, I really like the green apples, but I have no preference. I like them all. You can grow apple trees from apple seeds, but you never know what kind of apples will grow. That's why in most orchards, the apple trees aren't ever grown from seeds. Oh, that's interesting. Instead, a branch from a tree that makes a particular kind of apple is joined or grafted onto the trunk of a small tree that already has roots. The two grow together when they're planted in the ground. And the result is a tree that produces the same kind of apple year after year. In 10 years, the planted tree is big enough and ready to grow fruit. The growing season starts with the pruning the trees, cutting away the dead branches. And another word for 10 years is decade. And this, um, a word for 100 years is also known as a century. So when people say in a decade the, or in a decade's time, the planted tree is grown up and ready to grow fruit. Decade means 10 years and century means 100 years. So fun fact. But here they are. They're pruning away the trees where they are cutting off the dead branches. In the spring, the trees in the apple orchard burst into bloom. Some have pink flowers, some have white. Soon, the orchardist sets out hives of bees in the orchard. Some, some keep bees themselves or others pay a beekeeper to bring them to the orchard when they are needed. The nectar in the flower attracts the bees. The bees are brushed with pollen when they buzz around the blossom, and they spread it to the next flower when they visit. That way, the flowers are fertilized, and inside the flower, the seeds are produced. The petals fall off the flower, and what's left, the, the ovary, then starts to swell. That's the beginning of an apple to be. And inside it are tiny seeds. If they are ever planted on one day, they would make new trees. It takes 10 to 20 weeks for the apples to reach full size and ripen. By August, the limbs of the tree are full of fruit. See, look at all those apples. Eventually, it's harvest time. Time to pick the apples before they fall to the ground and spool. Yeah, they have to make sure to pick them as soon as possible because they don't want them to rot or fall and fall from the trees and then get bruised and that hurts the covering of the apple. So they have to pick them as soon as they're ready to be picked. At some orchards, you can pick from your own. So I guess in the spruce pine apple orchard you can, but I've never been. But if you guys know, let me know. <laughs> maybe you can pick your apples there, but maybe not now because of COVID times, but pre-COVID. Some apples will be squeezed in presses for apple juice and apple cider. This apple press is nearly 100 years old. Remember what I said about 100 years? That also means a century. This apple press is nearly a century old. So that's pretty 
So if you look at the cool machine to make apple cider and apple juice, and then here is apple juice, and then I think here is apple cider. Some apples will be peeled and sliced and sugared and spiced and baked into a pie. Ooh. I love apple pies and apple strudels and apple cider. I love apple everything. I love even apples with well, peanut butter. That's really good as a good snack. Some are faded to be cor cored and quartered and tossed into a pot to make applesauce. Now this book is making me hungry. And some will, ju will just be taken in the hand, perhaps rubbed on a shirt fold for polish and with a wonderful crisp and crunchy sound munched all around and swallowed down. See this girl, little girl is enjoying her apple. And that is all of our story about the different kinds of apples or how apples are produced, but here is a page where it talks about the different kinds of apples. But from the previous book we read, we know there's a bunch of apples. Like, I think they said over a thousand different kinds of apples, so that's a lot. <laughs> but I hope you enjoy this read aloud about how apples are grown and produced, and you can make several things with apples. Okay, I'll see you next time in science.